Hello guys, welcome back once again. This is the part four of the WCF TCPIP duplex chat application using the um, WPF as a as a desktop client. So from the previous videos, we've actually built the whole application to the service side. So right now we were able to handle all the service aspects of the application the next bit of course is we will start with the desktop clients and we will implement whatever that needs to be implemented but before i start if you haven't subscribed to the channel i suggest you do in any case let's get this up and running so we add a new project So we add a WPF project and we we'll call it chatapp.desktop desktop just like this so we hit the OK button and OK so now we've got a blank WPF um, application created the next bit of course we go ahead and add some folders so we go ahead and add some folders. The first folder, we're going to call it views. And the second folder, we're going to call it view models. So inside of view models, this is what we would do. Um, we'll add a new class so the new class we will call it we just give it message view model So inside the same folder, we add this class. It's a public class and we call it message callback. So we will just move it to message callback.cs. So here, this is what we do, we just inherit iMessage iMessage callback. So we just reference it from our chat app dot chat app I message callback. Okay, so we're just gonna go there and check if we've got something wrong here. So we're just gonna oh service I message service yeah. Okay, so that's why. So we're just gonna make this bit as well message message service callback. So we're just gonna paste the iMessage service call back here so we can reference it and implement the missing members so as you can see it's, it's, a, it's a pretty simple stuff so the next bit of course is we go we go on to our views and we add some some user user controls so the first the first one we call it um chat layout so the next one we call it login
The next bit, last but not the least, we call it the main. So as you can see, we've got pretty much set to go. So inside our we go inside our main. And here, this is what we do. Remove the default sizes and whatnot. Default size. And we could just leave the title, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can say, uh, shut up. So, the next bit, of course, is here. We give it a name, a unique name, and we're just going to call it main. And inside, um, here, we're going to add a new a namespace here. So it's um, XML and this, and this will be, we're just going to give it local. This will be equal to chat this up, desktop, desktop, the views. So that's what we're going to use here. So inside here, we're going to just put in a local and a login. So we're going to put the login here. So as you can see, we've got <coughs> nothing here. So, so now we come back to the login side. Here, we open the code behind. And as you can see, we've got nothing. So right after the initialize, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to set the window. So we're going to say, um, we will we, we'll put this window here, a private main window. Window. So after the initialize components, we're going to we're going to initialize a wi window. We're going to put something like this main window. Main window. Then we say ap application dot current dot main window. Then we check if it's not null. If it's not empty, then we will, s we will set these properties. I'm just going to copy and paste it just not to waste too much time. So you can just do it later on. So this is what we're going to put there. So here, as you can see, we've got an underscore window. So I can just put here an underscore window here. So we can just copy it and paste it. So it's been pretty much the same work that I was trying to avoid. Anyway, we've got it sorted out. So the next bit is we, we actually design our login page. So it's not something, it's not fanciful. So we're just going to come in here now. So here we're gonna we're gonna s remove the design bit, and we're gonna set the minimum height to 100, and minimum width to 160, and the background to gray. So inside here, we're going to put in um, a stack panel. Horizontal alignment, we've got to set that to center. 
vertical alignment, we set that to center. Orientation, horizontal, actually vertical. margin so I'm just gonna put in some margins 166 164 150 164 and the width will be 209 So that's what we're going to do here. So the next bit, of course, is we're going to put in, we're going to put in the text box. So text box, name, the name will be username, horizontal alignment, center. put in some height 23 so we put in um text wrapping wrap vertical center width 160 so that's all we do for here for now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it for here for now and we can just bang on on the next part so that we just don't spend a lot of time on one video so if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.